Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Chiron and Capricorn in the natal horoscope. As most of you know, Chiron is associated with the wounded healer. It's a sector or aspect in our lives where we can generally help others immensely, but often we don't have the capability or don't help ourselves enough in that area. Now Chiron is not a planet, it's considered by some planet, a planetoid asteroid, uh, a comet, but it's not an uh, actual planet, but it still, in my opinion, has a significant uh, effect on us in our horoscopes. Uh, Chiron traverses a sign on an average time for about four to five years, so we look at it, and it's, it can have it kind of like similar effect as a generational planet, so we look at the house position more so than as, as opposed to the sign that Chiron is in. So anyway, let me get started. The first thing, Chiron and Capricorn. Uh, the, the biggie seems like it's about the organization uh, thing. Uh, people uh, that have this placement may uh, instill a belief in many others, emphasize organization in their lives, but maybe in their own lives they might be somewhat, things might be somewhat discombobulated, disheveled, whether it may be, it might be a home for example, it could just be their life, their priorities are not quote unquote in order. Uh, we look at this and Chiron uh, and Capricorn is about, about telling others maybe to be or instilling that belief of responsibility in others, uh, ambition, uh, showing prudence uh, in matters, forethought, uh, about being premeditative and planning ahead. However, they may lack these uh, abilities in their own lives on perhaps on a strong level or at least in the as far as the house position goes. Uh, in their chart. Now Capricorn is about um, is ambitious. The sign Capricorn is ambitious. Now this person uh, may have a certain amount of ambition but may may not uh, perhaps there might be a problem in, as far as their ambitions. They may have had a problem going after maybe the wrong things in their life. And like I stated, it's more about the house placement uh, that is, and that'll show where they maybe have had uh, problems in displaying this ambition and responsibility. Now, people uh, that have this placement may actually have a strong amount of responsibility. However, it's about taking responsibility for what they do, um, being aware of, of facing you know, if it's something negative that's been done or, or, or a mistake, and taking the accountability and responsibility, being aware there are repercussions for, for things, uh, for, for a mistake, not necessarily something intended uh, in, to be negative, but just, an, uh, for example, example, just an honest uh, error, whether it might be in judgment or over someone's character or what have you. So, really, what this comes down to is uh, you look at the, the placement and talked about Chiron and its sign being in Capricorn. Now it's going to vary depending on house position. Now there might be, uh, let's say we, we put, uh, say Chiron is in the sixth house of employment and work, health, and service. Uh, this could be a person that might encourage others to be responsible in matters uh, and ambitious in connection with their with their uh, work life, uh, with their health. And when I say ambitious with their health, I mean doing the things to, to be at that at that great level as far as their health goes, and looking after being responsible uh, for their own health and in getting their work life organized. And but they the person that would have Chiron and Capricorn in the sixth house may have trouble in doing so for themselves. Now. Now Chiron, and uh, let's say Chiron and Capricorn is posited in the first house in someone's natal chart. Now this um, might uh, this person might not always take 
uh, responsibility, so to speak, and maybe that first impression they leave on others, maybe this is a person for some reason, might not always give the best first impression, but this could also be the person that uh, instills in others to uh, always look, uh, always give someone your first impression on a job because you don't have uh, a second chance to make a first impression. This could be a, a person that might not always take responsibility for their physical body, um, for, for example, and taking care of it maybe the way it does, but they will encourage others to take care uh, of theirs and themselves and will um, uh, instill those beliefs in others. So, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for Chiron and Capricorn in an natal horoscope. Stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about Chiron and Aquarius in the natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because a person, astrologically, is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people stay well. Thank you.